Hi guys, it's Karis, and today I'm here with my roommate Ariana. Hi. Um, <laughs> we are doing a Pepperdine Q and A video, um, but also just like everything you need to know about Pepperdine and being a freshman here. Um, I would say that both of our experiences so far um, has been pretty good. This is yeah. our first semester. Um, and we're ending the first semester and we're going into our second semester but so far it's been super fun um but yeah so let's get right into the video <laughs> <laughs> okay so first question does pepperdine care a lot about your gpa how do you think you got in you can answer first um so yeah with the whole gpa thing i think it's a really like holistic application process so don't worry too much about your gpa they're not only going to look at your gpa uh, they do look at your gpa but they're not only going to look at that they also look at your essays and your extracurriculars and things like that um so don't worry too much just make sure that your essays are also really good because i think that they stress a lot of importance on those um talk about how pepperdine would how like what you can bring to pepperdine and also what pepperdine can offer you um i think just yeah, if you focus a lot on your essays, you'll be good. Yeah, I mean, I would say that is true. I think the GPA does come to like a certain extent, though, because we both did have pretty high GPAs yeah. in high school. Um, I think we should say our stats. Yeah, I had a 4.0 unweighted. It depends on like how your high school weighs them, but for my high school, it was a 4.0 unweighted and a 4.3, I think, weighted. Yeah, um, so she went to like a private school, yeah. but I went to a public school, so I guess like the way they like do the grading is a little different from mm -hmm. hers because people from my school usually don't have over a 4.0, but my unweighted, wait, unweighted is the lower one. Yeah, unweighted, okay. yeah. My unweighted was like a 3.7 and my weighted was like, I don't know, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But, um, so yeah, I've, I got a 3.7, my GPA, and I was able to go into Pepperdine, but I think Pepperdine doesn't really take anyone lower than a 3.5. But yeah. it depends. It, it would it would kind of depend. Yeah. yeah, like it kind of depends. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, make sure to focus a lot on like your other extracurriculars. So as for me, like I focused a lot on my photography um, and I'm sure. Yeah, I um, talked about like I have my own small business, um, an online jewelry shop. So I talked a lot about that and how that plays into my major as well. Um, so things like that, they really look into. They want to know how your passions come into play with your major at Pepperdine or what you want to do at Pepperdine if you are declaring a major so if you are and that is something that you're passionate about then that's definitely something you should talk about in your essays yeah um, another reason why I think I got into Pepperdine was because I also applied for a music scholarship um, this is also like super great if you're into music I play the violin and I've been playing violin since I was like four so I've always been in orchestra um, and I think Pepperdine really like it's a good niche to get in also because they're really looking for a lot of people to join their orchestra or bands um so with that scholarship um i still have to play in the orchestra but i don't need a major or minor um in the in in, in music i guess um but yeah that's basically it just make sure to focus a lot on your essays and also they have essays like the supplemental essay about like your relation basically like your faith in God yeah um you don't necessarily need to say like you believe in God or anything um but just make sure it's like very real because I think they can tell mm -hmm. next question can freshmen bring their cars and how is the parking like so freshmen can bring their cars yes. and it's so nice because I know a lot of colleges don't allow that and the, it's free yes <laughs> and it's free but the problem with this is that because Pepperdine has let everyone bring their cars, there's like no parking on campus. Um, I'm not complaining though because I'm glad I still can bring my car, but like sometimes it's hard because you kind of have to like, basically they like, they like, they, they separate. Wait. You want me to say? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, So basically what they did this year was you have like a parking permit that you apply for and you put that sticker on your like windshield on the left side and that will indicate like your year or like if you're a commuter so like for example for first years um we have permits that say fy on them and we can have there's only like certain designated areas that we can park because we're first year so we don't get priority um with parking so um it's like a little bit more difficult for us um but then if you're a commuter student which is like if you're mainly an upperclassman you have a c um, and then if you're just a normal resident, you have an R, so it just kind of depends on 
what your age is and like what category you fall into. It depends on like how easy or, how easy or difficult it is to find parking. Um, but in general, it's been not the best, but I feel like it could have been worse. It's like yeah. better to have, we were like happy that we have cars at least. Um, cause it just makes life a lot easier. Yeah. And like, if you're a freshman or if you're going to be a freshman and you drive, like I would definitely recommend bringing a car yes. because like you can't go anywhere around here if you don't have a car and you would have to like find friends to drive you everywhere basically. But yeah, the parking situation is kind of difficult sometimes, but I mean, it's, it's like definitely better to just bring your car anyways. Yeah. So is Pepperdine super religious? Um, I mean, I don't think it is, honestly. Um, Christianity has never been, like, pushed on me. I've never felt that at all. Um, we do have... It is, like, part of our GE requirements to fulfill religion classes. So there are three religion classes that you need to fulfill uh, through the GE requirement. Um, so three semesters of it, pretty much. Which I don't think is too bad over the course of three years. Um, it's, like... Yeah, I don't think it's too bad at all. But then other than that, we also have something called Seaver 200, um, which is a new thing, I believe, this year. But um, it's only for freshmen. And yeah, it's only for freshmen and sophomores. And yeah, if you want to talk about Seaver 200. Um, so Seaver 200, you have to, it's basically another class on top of your other classes, but it's a lot shorter. And so for our Seaver 200, there's like different, every Seaver class has like different topics you discuss about. But for our Seaver 200 class, it was basically like a little, like, discussion group where we learned about like like we set goals for ourselves and it was yeah. like for ours it was every Wednesday morning at like 10 a.m. for yeah. like an hour or something it's yeah. really not that bad at all and we only had to do like nine of them in the full semester to get the full credit so it's really honestly not that bad um in previous years of Pepperdine I think that they required um for people to, for students to do that all four years so it's better now that we only have to do it for freshman and sophomore year oh. but yeah other than um Seaver 200 and the religion requirement it those are like the two only things that you really have to do at Pepperdine as far as it comes to religion um other than that it's really up to you and what you want to get involved in yeah um I think a lot of people are scared about like oh going into a Christian school like if you're not Christian and like that being pushed on into you but yeah definitely like I would say that the majority of the students here um are like there's a lot of Christians like we're both Christian but no one ever like pushes it onto you and also like the politically it's very balanced so it's not like you feel like left out if you don't believe in like a certain thing or whatever but yeah that's basically it for religion cafeteria food so no one on youtube really talks about the cafeteria food that much so no one really knew and when i would ask around people would say it's like okay but i think this year was when they i think they changed like the people making the food so it's <laughs> it's like not that good especially in the beginning of the semester it was like pretty bad I feel like they have improved since the beginning of the semester a yeah, little bit yeah um it's just yeah it's not the best I can't I'm not gonna lie uh we do get food trucks that come which is like kind of fun um and like different restaurants will like have little parts of the calf Sometimes, so like, Sharky's will come, the Mexican restaurant. Um, sometimes an Indian restaurant will come. Different places like that. But in general, it's not the best. But I think they said that they're going to work on getting better. Yeah. And then also, okay, so the meal swipe system is so rigged like it's so bad like in UCLA you can like swipe once and you can just get as many as much food as you want it's not like that here yeah mm -hmm. but here they charge for like everything so like you're end like you literally spend like around twenty dollars a meal every day um and you're forced to buy meal points and we do have a Starbucks here so you can get Starbucks and we have Jamba, and Jamba Juice, Juice yeah. um but that's yeah it's it's pretty expensive, and the food is, like, not 100% worth it, but, like, yeah, that's basically <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, next question, freshman housing, and how is it, like... Okay, so the way the freshman housing works, it's pretty different from um, a lot of other colleges, so it's suite-style living. So pretty much you live in one house that has how many suites? 
Okay, you live in a house that has six suites, um, and in each suite there's eight people living in it. So, okay, within one suite there's four bedrooms, each has two girls in them, or two girls or two boys, um, and a common area and a bathroom that has two showers, two sinks, and two toilets. Um, you can also check out Carissa's room tour video. She, like, outlines it all in there. Um, yeah, <laughs> but um, it's honestly really great. I really like it, the way it works. It's a lot better to me than just like what's it called residence halls of just like one floor and you share a bathroom with your full floor because we're sharing a bathroom with seven other girls so it's honestly pretty clean everything's really close by also okay so like kind of more about the setup is like freshmen we have like a thing we have so basically we are living in like the freshman dorms and so there's like freshman rows so there's like two rows of just basically freshman dorms and then as you get older there's like other houses like George Page or Loverneck you'll probably learn more about that once you're in Pepperdine but um yeah so on freshman row the distance from freshman row to main campus is actually not bad at all like we literally just walk straight down and then you're basically at main ca it's like campus like five minutes yeah and then the distance from like your dorm to like let's say um like the ccb so the ccb is like the business building where you have all your business classes and we're both like imc majors which is basically like marketing mm -hmm. so we have a lot of classes up there the only hard part is that like uh you have to like walk like we like, have a lot of stairs yeah we have a lot campus. of stairs here and so basically you have to walk a lot around here um we do have a shuttle system too that like runs by each stop every five minutes um, or something, but yeah, it's basically a lot of walking, but it's not it's not nearly as bad as like other schools because our campus is super small mm -hmm. um, Yes in our someone asked um, if we have AC and heaters in our room and we do not have AC But we have heaters which I found out like literally <laughs> yesterday and it works really we well. Turned them, yeah, we turned it on yesterday. Yeah it's been really cold. <laughs> um, Yeah, so that's basically it for freshman housing Next question, uh, sororities and frats, and how is Rush? So I rushed for the normal sororities, like the normal sorority rush process. I wasn't planning on it at all. Like I went into college really against it and did not want to do it. Um, but then I came here and like some people kind of convinced me to just rush and see how it was. And if I didn't want to end up joining a sorority at the end of it I didn't have to but I ended up actually really liking it because here at Pepperdine it is a lot different because we're a really small school so the sororities aren't that big and then also we don't have any sorority houses so it kind of makes I feel like the fact that we don't have any houses like that makes it a bit less intense if that makes sense um so yeah I personally do really like it it's just kind of depends on what you want and what you want to do but if you're on the fence i would suggest just rushing and seeing how you like it um and then if you don't like it you don't have to rush and then say what sorority you're in oh yeah i'm in tri-delta yeah. and all of our mm -hmm. sweet mates are basically in tri-delta yeah we all like rush another. yeah we all rush tri-delta um but chris is in a business frat which yeah. is a bit different so for my rush experience I initially went to the sorority like meet the chapter event which is basically right before rush and I just thought it like wasn't really for me I didn't really find it appealing at all and also the expenses the dues yeah. um, for being in a sorority is super expensive um, so I I mean obviously I couldn't pay for it on my own so I was like I just can't do this anyways but I've always wanted to rush for a business frat so I rushed for DSP Delta Sigma Pi. Um, there's also another business frat called AKSI. Um, and my rush process was a lot different from like the sorority people. It's basically like um, you have to meet them, you do interviews, um, and then they only pick like very a very small number to get in into the, the frat. Um, and it's a business frat, so it's basically co-ed with boys and girls, which is super nice because um, I feel like it's just like a good balance and it's fun. Yeah, and okay So like sorority life and and or Greek life overall here is pretty like low Yeah, general. so it's not like a big deal here. And if you're like worried about parties um, Or if you're worried about okay, if you're worried about parties like you don't have to worry because it's like not a big pressure But if you want to party like there are parties, but it's not yeah. nearly as big as like UCLA or like USC or anything. It's just like if you want to party, you can party. And there's also a lot of kickbacks around too. And all the parties are like off campus also. 
Yeah, you can definitely have a social life without being in a sorority or frat. Um, but, well, as far as sorority, I can't really speak for the frats. But um, as far as being in a sorority, you don't really have to be in one to go to parties and stuff like she said. Um, but if you do want to, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also, I guess, kind of leading into, like, the Pepperdine safety. Um, so, there, there, there's there's a pretty high security system around here. So, like, if you are going to a party, like, they do, like, breathalyze or something. Like, okay, they, like, <laughs> they like kind of did for a little bit. And, like, there's basically just, like, security all around. And Pepperdine is basically a super dry campus, so you can't be, like, really doing that much around here. Um, and it wouldn't be, like, a smart idea to. Mm-hmm. So... There's that, yeah. Campus life, like, and, like, what are the clubs, if there's jobs or anything. Um, I'll start off. So, campus life here is pretty, like, it's pretty cute. Like, I would say it's, like, cute. Like, you literally see people all the time, and, like, it's pretty small. So, if you want to make, it's, like, not super hard to make friends because you're literally passing by the same people, like, over and over again. Um, It's also... Okay, so that's, like, when school is happening. But, like, when school is not happening, the campus is, like, pretty dead. Um, people yeah. usually, like, go home. Over the weekends. Like, yeah. the, the parking lot is, like, almost empty. empty. Yeah. yeah, people are always out and going home. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then <laughs> for clubs, there are multiple clubs around. I ha- We have we both... Okay, so you're in ASA. Yeah, I'm in the Armenian Student Association, so there also there are like a bunch of different cultural clubs like that. Um, but other than those, there's also like different interest clubs. If there's like a certain thing that you're interested in, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, yeah, we went to like the club brush thing um, in the beginning of the school year, but I don't think either of us ended up really like being super involved in one club, um, other than me for ASA, but. You, if, like, you want to get involved in them, there's so many to get involved in, and it's really easy, to. It's, like, really accessible. Yeah, like, I know some clubs, like, the Feminist Club, or, like, there's, like, Pepperdine Graphic, which is basically, like, newspaper. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's, like, multiple clubs around that, like, we haven't checked out yet because it's literally just our first um, yeah. semester here, but I definitely want to, like, check it out more. Um, as for jobs, there's a lot of jobs on campus. Um, I have, like, a work-study thing that I need to do, so I have to, like, work at on campus so that it can fill part of my tuition. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of jobs, and I've heard there's a lot of easy jobs, too. Like, you can literally just sit there and do homework, so that's really nice. Mm-hmm. Parties, dating, and hookup culture. I mean, parties, they're mainly off-campus. Um, the Pepperdine is a dry campus, so people try to avoid parties on campus just so that there's no one <clears throat> just so that there's no one getting in trouble. Um, but I would say like dating life, there are a lot of people, especially in our class, I feel like that have gotten into relationships already like quickly. In our class? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we should say that. <laughs> I don't know if people have. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, but, yeah, I feel like... Wait, I would say that... So, would you say it's high? Because I would say it's low. I would say I feel like a lot of people are in couples. Really? Actually, I would say, maybe. Okay, I don't know, though. Like, it kind of depends. Um, there are some people... It kind of, like, depends on what you want. Because I feel like there are some people who are just looking to, like, take part in hookup culture, even though it's, like, not really that huge. It just depends on, yeah. like, what you want. Okay. Like, I think compared to, like, other schools, hookup culture here is not super big. Yeah. Because I know people that, like, they would do it, but then they're also scared about, like, other people finding out. Because our school is really small. small. <laughs> so, yeah. It just kind of depends like, on what you want. Um, like, there are some people, there are a lot of people who are in relationships. There are a lot of people that are single. A lot of people that are, like, just looking to take part in hookup culture. Um, so I would say it's like, kind of a bad. Yeah, like, just basically don't feel worried to, like, do stuff, because people here, like, don't really pressure you that yeah, much. Yeah. Like, everyone here is really nice. Okay. Next question. How are the classes and teachers like? Um, so classes are pretty small, at least the classes I've been in so far. It's almost like a high school class, like, 30 people, maybe a little more sometimes, but normally all my classes are pretty small, and the professors 
are actually so nice like all the people that work here or all the staff here like even the cafeteria people like everyone is literally so nice and like i've had professors already like have sat me down and like go over essays with me just to like help me correct my grammar or like everyone is very willing to like to to make sure that like you're succeeding basically um and it's really nice because if you want to get close to a professor you can easily do that like you can easily like get their number and like text them too like i text my violin teacher um so it's pretty nice and i really like it because i think in a big classroom like you'll feel lost and it's like hard to learn um so that was like a big reason why i chose pepperdine also next question how did we meet and what is the roommate process like so, <laughs> so uh, bef once you like commit to Pepperdine, um, you can post yourself on the like Pepperdine, like, and then whatever year you guys graduate page, someone usually makes it pretty like early in the process once people start getting admitted from the early admission. Um, so you can like post yourself and say that like you're looking for a roommate, you can go that route, um, which is kind of the route that we took. Like we both posted ourselves and then DM'd each other. But we also like grew up in similar areas and her brother went to my high school and we had like a lot of mutual friends so we like didn't really know each other but then like because of that we were kind of able to like hang out over the summer before and then get to know each other before that so once we moved in we kind of already did feel like we knew each other um which is really nice but that's like one route you can take or you can go the random like decision route or I think you can also do, like, the roommate matching process through Zimi or something. Yeah. There's, like, different apps. Yeah. Yeah, they have, like, apps where you can, like, meet other people. But, yeah, overall, like, finding a roommate, I think it's important to make sure... Or at least for me, it was really important. Like, I'm so glad that, like, I actually met up with Ariana because, like, I wouldn't really, like... Like, our room looks super cute because we coordinate everything. Yeah. And, like, it's just kind of weird to, like, live with someone that, you weren't, you're, that you're not super comfortable with. So, um, yeah, I think, like, picking your roommate is a really good decision. But, I mean, if you choose to go, like, the... What's that random called? The random just... route or whatever. Like, some people actually have fun with that. And mm -hmm. they actually do end up liking their roommate. But, um, yeah, those are just the two ways you can pick, find your roommate. Um, but with that like Pepperdine allows you to pick your own roommate and they allow you to pick um a pair of suite mates so like two other people in your suite okay, so now we are on my phone because my camera just died mm -hmm. but um to end the video um I would just say like a little reflection on like our semester um I guess I kind of talked about this in the beginning but like yeah we've had so much fun so far yeah. and I think it's really ra rare or not rare but um, I'm glad that we did have good experiences because we also have really cool sweet mates too. Like we're all friends. And I think like if you're going into it without knowing anyone in your suite, like I would say really make the effort to get to know them because yeah. like they can be your close friends potentially. And I know a lot of other people don't really get along with their suite, but I guess we were really lucky to have like really cool sweet mates. Um, yeah, so yeah, this semester has been great. We literally are in finals week currently right yeah. now and in a couple of days, we're going to go back home for winter break. But, yeah. Do you have anything else to say? Um, yeah, I would say, like, overall, I'm really happy with my decision uh, that I chose Pepperdine so far. It's only been a semester, but this first semester has been really good. I know a lot of people didn't have super great experiences with their first semester of college, um, especially with the transition after COVID and all of that. Um, but for us, I think it's been really great. Um, and we got lucky with a lot of things, like our sweet mates, like she said. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just really happy overall. Okay, so <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is Stella. This is Stella. She's one of our sweet mates. She's from London. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but she doesn't she have. She has an accent. She doesn't have an accent. I'm disappointing. <laughs> so that was the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Check out my room tour video because it's really helpful. I think. Um, and yeah. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. 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 If I died in